Hi everyone, so Tia with Powerlift for Games, and I thought I'll show you a little bit about how to do your steps after unracking when you're squatting. I realize a lot of people uh, make this mistake, so I thought I'll share it with you. You just take a, the minimum amount of steps as possible, so I'll illustrate it here. So I'm about to unrack it. Uh, you'll see it right here. So there you go. So pretty much you're gonna have one step to move backwards, the second step again to move backwards, and then the third step is pretty much just to adjust your squat stance. And you'll see here another angle. So right now I'm just digging in to the bar, getting ready. When I do the lift off, I make sure that the weight is still and then I do my three steps and then I'm good to go. So what I decided to do in this case was I actually just got this uh, new A7 Fitness shirt. It's uh, A7 Fitness 3.0. Overall I'm pretty happy with the shirt on its own. Here's a different angle and you'll be able to see as soon as I unrack it I make sure the weight is steady before I do my steps backwards. There you go. See a slight pause there to make sure the, the weights are even and then you go into the squat. And I'm doing low bar. I'm going to get into the low bar and the high bar at another time. And today I actually noticed that my, my um, lower back is still very stiff, still very sore because of the deadlifts. And I think the way around it would be for me to start switching to high bar and alternating between high bar and low bar. And I decided to go with the 295 pound uh, squat. It was pretty intense. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the A7 Fitness shirt that I got as a gift. I gotta thank Jensen, uh, Jason and, um, and Josh Hancock, uh, he provided to me as a gift. And the shirt on its own is a little bit tight on me. However, it's, it's uh, the material is flexible so it's actually pretty cool in terms of the padding at the back the pattern is pending and with the pattern it's sticky at the back so it eliminates the use of chalk if you need to and it's also really really good for benching especially that's my issue it's a little bit slippery when I'm benching so with the low bar on the squat rack it's a little bit different because I typically dig in to my uh, shirt. As you see over here, the, the bar just happens to move. So <laughs> you'll see, this is why I filmed this part here. I, I left it the way it was. The bar starts to move and it's, I needed to go right against the rail. Um, this was the only squat rack available. That's why I decided to um, use this one. So anyways, going back to the shirt. So you see I'm digging in here and the good news about this shirt is that it stays stuck. So with that you don't really need to work so much in terms of digging in to make sure it's at the right position doesn't move the only issue is because it sticks right from the moment you have the barbell against you um, that's pretty much where it's gonna stay from then on and it's a little bit tricky you'll have to get used to it overall I still think it's a good shirt and um, yeah, I decided to do some squatting. It's my second day of squatting. And finally, I want to show you my benching. I finished with some benching and I want to show you a little bit how I do my benching in terms of my warm up. So this is 135 pounds. What I do is I make sure there's no leg drive at all. And I do close grip. I think I do close grip with pause for about five or eight reps. And then I switch to super, super, super wide grip. It's pretty much as wide as possible until you hit the, the racks on each side. My hands are pretty much hitting the, the racks on each side. And then I do the pause as well <clears throat> so that I prepare myself for the real benching. And you'll be able to see me setting up my bench as well with my arch and everything like that. So over here I'm going to be doing uh, 225 and I'm actually like under 160 pounds right now. I'm just explaining my spotter, what I'm looking for. Um, the cool thing about the shirt is, like I said, it as soon as you put it onto whatever surface, it sticks to it. 
So what I do is I make sure that I'm properly centered, my shoulders are tucked in, and I'm pulling myself up to get ready for the arch position. So I'm making sure my shoulders are properly in, and there you go. My feet are planted, and now I'm doing a uh, pause bench. So there you go, and then a, a third set. I think this was my second set. Uh, I did, I think, three or four by three. I can't remember exactly. Uh, and then this was actually the, on, uh, I believe, New Year's Eve. Yeah, on uh, December 31st. And the interesting part about uh, the arch and everything is, depending on the federation or the association, wherever you're competing, they only, well, for, I know for OPA, which is Ontario Provincial, no, sorry, Ontario Powerlifting Association and CPU, which is Canadian Powerlift uh, Powerlifting and and uh, IPF. They only have it so that your head has to be against the bench, your butt has to be against the bench, and your entire feet has to be against the floor. And uh, they have random doping tests as well, and you're automatically tested for doping if you finish in the top three. So I just want to bring that out as to why I choose to do it my way in terms of having my feet planted all the way to the floor. You can't see it um, and then that's pretty much how it is and, and I believe in this one I just have to watch my butt. Um, I know one of the ways you can do to improve your bench is obviously with the leg drive but you have to main maintain your butt against the, the bench and you just got to be careful and be aware that I think some of the really really good lifters they pretty much perfect it so that pretty much their butts just glaze pretty much just glaze the bench so that it's going to be a pass on the lift so that one was fine you see the light switching over there they're, they're actually clo closing so uh, I really had to rush my um, my workout set. Anyways, thanks for watching. Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> Compete at that weight class. I'm looking forward to see what are some of the benchmarks I'll be able to push as well I'm so looking really looking forward to be able to start hitting my regular strength and as you can see here I haven't really hit it yet um.